I lost my house, I lost my stuff, but I think it's just a sacrifice that you need to do. Vital 2018. You're the only one I want to love. I'm in a dance crew. Oh. Yeah, we do competitive stuff, so we compete in competitions. Wow. It's called Covenant Dance Crew. We, we've been in a, in, a, in a crew for about like a year plus now, close to two. Extremely, I'm one of those, like, you, you normally like we hear stories like, you know, my family's not that supportive of my, my musical venture or my, um, you know, entertainment aspirations, but I've been very fortunate and blessed to have an entire group of family who's very supportive of it since day one. They can see it from when I was a kid, they can't stop me. I mean, I had a little argument with my dad about studies and everything like that, but then it's just what dads do, you know what I mean? That's right. Yeah, but I eventually gotten into it anyway. Well, how long has this been going on, babe? Quite, quite, quite a lot of sacrifices in terms of time and decisions because um, I think a lot of people are probably wondering why I'm starting out so late, as in like I'm 29, you know what I mean? But it's it has always been an aspiration of mine to actually pursue entertainment eventually. And I use entertainment because I'm actually interested in not just singing and music, but also like movies or acting or short films behind the scenes and in front of the scenes. Pop you know? culture. Yeah, pop culture essentially. Like I, I just I want to be an entertainer. That's my goal. There was a period of time where I actually took the big leap, you can say. Uh, I lost my house, I lost my stuff, but I think it's just a sacrifice that you need to do. So You lost yeah. your house? Yeah, I actually left my, my rented house at me like because I, I can't afford it anymore because I'm not working anymore. And I do have the option of like seeking help from my parents, but why would I do that? You know, I had that period of time where I was already receiving my appropriate help from my parents. I enjoyed that tremendously, but now it's just my time to venture off on my own. So I had to let that go and um, my furniture, you know, but it was for a good reason. I feel like I don't know if this is um, a common belief, but in Sabah we believe this thing where like if you let go of things, new things will come in. So it was a tough, rough patch of my life, but if you enter such um, situations in life with a positive mind, then you can help you. Surround yourself with good people as well. I've been to a couple of auditions and despite scoring, I did not get selected and it's okay of course you need a little bit of belief in yourself and yeah. it's one thing that i've been struggling ever since i was a teen which is to believe in myself so when people come to you and tell you hey you're so good it helps you because you feel like oh my god i am doing something right you know but um there were a couple of times actually just before flydel actually i was already heading to that point where it was almost honestly because i'm such a happy person i don't even know if it was almost depression i don't know but i would call it giving up I really was thinking of giving up because like, okay, you know what, I'm close to like three decades old, I really need to figure something out to do or else then I would just would be wasting my time, you know, because time waits for no man. So there was a couple of times, actually one major time, it was right before Flydo. That's why I was very happy about Flydo happening because Flydo is the first thing that I actually auditioned for and got accepted. In. If you like what I do and if you enjoy what I'm doing, because my dream is to be an entertainer and if I entertain you, please vote for me. You know how to do that. And when I sing in falsetto, them girls.